welcome to Lauren Loves Color. This is Lauren. Welcome back to my channel for my subscribers. Welcome to the um, new members of the group if you are new to my channel and thank you for stopping by. I have three books to share with you for a flip and a review today. Two of these are by Color Questopia. One of these is by Such and Such Diva. They're all pretty much kind of springtime related birds and butterflies um, and flowers and so I thought it would be good to do a flip and review of all of these together. As we start to get really into the depths and guts of winter, um, all of us, I think, are looking for a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of something to look forward to for spring. And so these books are all a great introduction into some February and spring coloring. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with this first book by Color Questopia called You Are Loved. This is the black background version, and I have to say I am so happy with the changes they have made with their books moving forward, and I'm going to show you what that is here in just a moment. So when you open the book here, um, they kind of have a standard um, just information about their uh, how to get in contact with them um, and their social media account. They also always have in the front a nice um, color by number tips and instructions here. And then we get to the images. Now, before I go through the rest of the flip of this book, I do want to explain the changes that Color Questopia has made. Through the years, if anybody is familiar with some of their earlier books or if you're interested in some of their earlier books, for example, I'm gonna bring out this cactus book. This is how they did their, their color palette. They had listed on the back of their book just the um, colors that were used inside of the book itself. And then inside of the book, they had listed just the colors that were used on the image. However, number one, two, three, four were not standardized colors. So if you flipped to another image, for example, here, number one is light green. Number one on this image is black. And so they received a lot of feedback. They, I will say Color Questopia is really excellent at listening to their customers and listening to their consumers. They really wanna make sure that everybody has a pleasurable experience while coloring their books. So they heard that feedback and they adapted to a different style, like their Christmas fantasy book. So in this book here, it lists all 50 of the colors that are possible within their color palette um, so that if you wanted to label a set of markers um, so that you always knew um, what colors you were using, all 50 um, um, colors were listed out here. However, some of the feedback that they got was that when they actually edited the inside of the book, they included all 50 colors here, um, not just the colors that were needed for the image. And so I know for me, it was a little bit hard sometimes because if I knew that I only needed, let's say, one green and one purple, um, I didn't have to worry about the shades of purple, whether it was dark or light or neon or, you know, whatever. I could kind of leave it to my own interpretation. When it was set up like this, it was a little bit more difficult to try and figure out, well, how many shades of green did I need and things like that. So it made it a little bit more time consuming, I would say, to color match uh, my markers uh, for this book. Um, so they did receive feedback and they made a correction. So now what they have done is they still include the 50, um, they still include the 50 color palette um, on the back of the book. So if you wanna match your markers, you can but also they have now standardized the number system. So number five up here, instead of starting with a one, starts with a five. Red will always be five. Eight will always be light yellow, et cetera, et cetera. Also, they only now include the um, colors that are gonna be in the images themselves. So I wanna say kudos and thank you to Color Questopia because that is a huge change and I think a really necessary change in their books and I'm very, very happy um, to see that. Um, and then also the black background versions of their books was also due to um, kind of consumer feedback to them and they really listened and I think the black background versions of their books are great. Um, this book and all of their books um, are also available in a non-black -back background version. If you're interested in getting that, I was interested in the black background version. So let's get into the book. So these images here, um, like I would say about half of the images have some quotes here um, and then half of them don't. Um, they all seem to be very spring um, and love related, lots of hearts. So this is really, really perfect for um, Valentine's coloring. Um, and just getting in the mood for um, Valentine's Day. 
I always love the heart motif in general, so I really find this interesting. I also thought this image was really cool. It was kind of like heart on fire, something a little bit different for a heart motif um, than what I was used to. Um, so I thought these were really nice. Um, and this also seems to come maybe from a collection of different artists. Um, like I recognize some of the art styles. Like the, to me, this looks like the camping book um, that they have in black background. Just the, the um, animals in that book look very familiar to me. Um, and I absolutely love this one. I think this is my favorite page. Whoever does their patterns like this, they need to have a book of patterns because um, these are beautiful. And then also I colored an image out of this book just so you could see a sample um, of what an image looks like colored. And I really enjoyed this. Now I will tell you with like, this is a pretty limited color palette here and the image was pretty simple. This probably took me, I would say no more than 30 to 40 minutes to actually color. And I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, this again looks like from their camping pictures. Maybe it is that same artist that does all of their camping stuff did this book. I'm not sure. But I do really like the images in this book. I really like to color flowers. And like I said, I really like the heart motif. So I, I see this book getting a lot of love from me. Um, no pun intended. Um, in February. And then this one is a little bit different too. This one actually has numbers inside of the quilt itself. Um, it's pretty small, so I'll probably use, maybe it would look nice with some glitter gel pens in there. But I think these are meant to be pretty simple. And then they always include some nice bonus pages in the back. So they have the unicorn book. I have this in the non-black background version and I kind of wish I had the black background version because I really like that. Um, wonderful winter. And I am someone that does like the extra bonus images in the back. It kind of gives me a sample of the other books that they have. This is their um, National Parks. And so this is one of their more detailed books. Fashion. And I mean, Color Questopia has a book on just about every topic. Um, I don't know how they keep coming up with concepts because it certainly is, um, I think, uh, hard to keep coming up with all that stuff. Okay. So that is their You Are Loved book. Really like this. Next, this one has to be one of my favorite Color Questopia the books that they have come out with. This is their large print color by number for adults. And um, so these are some simpler images. The beginning of the book is exactly the same as the other ones, so I'm not going to bore you with all of that. But these here, um, and actually I think some of these images are a little bit simpler, but some of them are a little bit um, more detailed. This is actually quite a variety of images that are in this book. So kind of the front of the book, when I originally saw this, I thought, oh, okay, well, it's going to be like birds and, and um, butterflies and, and flowers. And that's even what it kind of says, flowers, birds, and more. But there is a lot more than what would normally meet the eye for this. So there is, kind of starts off with your birds and butterflies and stuff, and they're nicely drawn. I like the um, style of the images. But then like this one, so I colored this one. This one is a fruit basket. And so I thought, oh, that is really fun and something unique and different. And I don't have a lot of color by number um, that color foods and fruits. And I know they have their candy book, but I don't think they have any other book like that. They also have images like this that are like ocean and sea life themed. And they have cats. And you kind of go back to the butterflies and the flowers. And so they have quite a bit of that, but then I also like really, really like this image. This is probably one of my favorite ones. This is of the um, flamingos. So I think this is really well done. And there's more of fruit and sea life. And then some more plants and stuff. This is kind of like, you know, succulents, a corgi dog. So I really like the variety in here. And I have to say some of my favorite color by number books have just kind of a collection of random images. Um, it's kind of one of those things that you can kind of pick up the book and just find something in it that you like. And so I hope that Color Questopia does more books like this because um, I really, really like this. This one is also one of my favorites. It's kind of like a desert night sky. Um, 
this is really nice and I definitely want to color that soon. So yes, yeah, so I'm really, really happy with the images in this book. And then of course your bonus images. So we have those cardinals. This one is a cars book. And some of these, um, like the country one and then the cars one, those are older books that they came out in the black background version recently. Here's the camping book. And then trains. And then this is, yeah, like what a non-black background um, book looks like. So that is it for this book. Really, really happy with this book. Really, really like this book. Um, I, I think it would be easy to color like two or three images in a day um, out of this book in no time. And so this would be, if you're looking to finish a book within a year, this would definitely be a book that you can add um, kind of on your uh, to-do because it would be easy to just color an image a day and it wouldn't take that much time. Last but certainly not least is a new color by number book by Satch and Satch Diva. This is called Beautiful Birds. This is a color by number book specifically geared towards adults. So if you're familiar with his color by number books, um, he has quite a ton of them. Um, some of them are a little bit more simpler and geared more towards children. And then he has some that are geared more towards adults. I really love that he's doing the um, adult books as well. And um, I love coloring something that's a little bit more complex, but this is still a very approachable color by number book. So I actually asked such and such diva, you know, and kind of gave him the feedback about please do more of these books. And he has a goal this year actually to publish a book every single week throughout the year, um, which is quite a tedious goal. Um, so now he has other, other artists that work with him that, um, he publishes, but, um, I just thought there's going to, we're going to see a lot from him this year. So just, um, get ready, um, for all the books and stuff that he has, but he did say these books, um, the adult color by number books in general do take a little bit more time. They take about two months, two to three months, as opposed to some books that he can just knock out within a couple of weeks. So I don't know that we'll see adult color by number books, um, frequently from him, but, um, um, it sure is nice and refreshing when he does have them. I did find this um, in the intro a little interesting. So he said birds are the most beautiful and bizarre creatures on earth with over 10,000 species, which I didn't know. Um, he said it features over 27 fine feathered friends depicted in their natural habitats. Um, you use the color by number key to um, create perfectly natural pictures. Um, illustrations are printed on one side of the page with black back page with a black back page, which helps prevent bleed through. He also has all of his social media um, down here at the bottom. Oh, and the list of the rest of his color by number books um, on the left-hand side if you're interested in any of those. Um, if you like this book, please leave a review on Amazon. I will definitely tell you every publisher I have spoken with um, that I do a review for their books has definitely indicated this really makes a difference for them. So even if it's just a couple of sentences or just a five-star rating or four-star rating or whatever you want to leave, um, this helps a lot. Um, he always has a really cute, um, this book belongs to page. And then we get into the actual coloring book itself. So what I always really like is he's very thoughtful about how he does his color palette on the left. Now he uses a 21 color palette. All 21 colors are included on every page, not just the ones in the image themselves. Um, but he does have a cute little icons that kind of look like a little bird stoop um, for each of the colors. Um, and then I really, really like as well that he includes the names of the birds um, there too, kind of for your own reference. And for those people who like to color birds but really want to make sure that they color them realistically having the name of the bird um, and doing color by number makes it really easy um, and then he also colored um, he also uh, illustrated them in their natural habitat which is cool um, your name and date um, is also available at the bottom I really like um, that his images are framed and um, like I said this is an adult color by number so you can see it's more detailed but not so detailed that you can't um, do this within a realistic time frame. And it's not simple to where it looks too much like a book intended just for children. Um, so this is the Eurasian blue tit. They have the common chaffinch, chaffinch, chaffinch. Guys, I'm from Texas, y'all. Y'all gotta um, just ignore me and forgive me for just a moment. Oh, these cutie pies, the gold crest. The Jacamar, the Toucan, 
And it's nice that he has kind of like a combination of like tropical birds and like kind of normal, I guess like, I shouldn't say like household birds, but like normal birds. Um, the European Robin, the uh, Quetzal, Quetzal. Oh gosh, y'all might be watching this video just to see how I pronounce these bird names. <laughs> um, the hummingbird, which we do get a lot of those in Texas. Oh, and this one, I did the macaws. Um, this was one of the ones I wanted to do because I knew that it would be really beautiful um, colored. So you can kind of see what one of the images looks like colored. And if you want to steal it, these this is my um, color match for my Cali Arts um, that I use. I always put my color charts kind of on a sticky note so I can carry it from book to book. So like Such and Such Diva has a pretty standard 21 um, color palette. So I just take that sticky note um, with me book to book and I have a few different sets of markers um, matched. But yeah, I really like how this turned out. Um, I will tell you there is a lot of green in this book because of the number of leaves. So one thing that I do plan on doing is I probably won't use my Cali Arts for the leaves anymore. I'll use like my permanent markers um or just some sets of markers that um I don't I don't mind running out as quickly and I love how the back of the page looks um once it's colored um you can still like you can see you can obviously still see the color palette here um but uh it looks really nice kind of that watercolor effect oh the Eurasian magpie and I'm sorry I missed this one the pink cockatoo which also are probably going to be very pretty the house finch, which we get a lot of these actually at my house. The Eurasian bullfinch, it's a big boy. The yellow hammer. The woodpecker, which my parents also get woodpeckers a lot. They get like these giant woodpeckers. The cardinal tickles blue flycatcher. We do get cardinals um, at my house as well. They're really, really like strikingly beautiful. Um, loggerhead trike. The Robin Sparrow. And some of these, I can kind of clearly tell he has a male and a female. The Blue Jay, like in this example, um, like clearly that's the male Blue Jay, and then he has the female, which I think is nice. So you can kind of tell the difference. I think it's so sad that the boys have to be the pretty ones. Um, sparrows. The Jay. The European Bee Eater. And this one's got something in his mouth, which is cute. The Parakeet. The Kingfisher. I think we get these in Texas too. The European Goldfinch. And then just information, just thanking you for the purchase of the book. And then he's always nice. He includes some color chart sheets. So this is another way that maybe if you don't want to use the sticky notes like I did, you can put your medium, um, you know, like alcohol markers, Cali arts or a hoo hoos or whatever, list out your colors um, and your numbers here. And then you can cut this out or just leave it in the book or whatever you want to do. Um, so it's always nice that he includes, it looks like there's about four of those in the back of the book, which is wonderful. And then another blank page that you can kind of use as a color test page. And then on the back here, he has um, just a few sample images and then some other color by number books um, of his. I will tell you the spring season book is another one for adults that is really, really nice. Um, I have this one and the Paisley Designs both on, um, both that I'm watching very closely. So if you have made it to the end of this video, then congratulations because I am announcing um, and uh, doing a giveaway. I want to sincerely thank Color Questopia and Sach and Sach Diva for sending me these books. Um, they send these books to me for flip throughs and for reviews, and I am very, very grateful for the opportunity to do that. Um, so these books were provided to me by free, provided to me for free. Um, but one thing that I do want to do is I do want to give back and I do want to continue to support these companies because I wouldn't do flip throughs and reviews of their books if I didn't absolutely believe in the quality um, of the product that they produce. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to be giving away a copy of a Color Questopia book and a copy of a Sach and Sach Diva book. It doesn't necessarily have to be these books, but what I'm asking you to do is in the comments below, um, leave me a comment for a Sach and Sach Diva book that is on your wish list, and leave me a comment for a Color Questopia book that is on your wish list. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be randomly selecting two winners um, so that um, 
two winners uh, so that I can um, give one person a Color Questopia book off of their wish list, and the other person I will be giving a Sachin Sach Diva book off of their wish list. So I am really excited about that opportunity. I really want to do this to help support the publishers who help support me. So with that being said, this video, I'm not exactly sure what day it's going to be going up. I want to say it's going to be on Friday, which is the, let's see y'all, let me look at my calendar. Yes, so this is going to be going up on Friday, January 22nd. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this giveaway open for approximately one week. So this giveaway is going to end on um, Friday, um, January 29th. And so uh, at midnight, um, I'm in Central Standard Time. I don't know if that matters. Um, so I will be drawing a winner on the 30th or two winners on the 30th and one person will win their Color Questopia book. One person will win their Sachin and Sach Diva book. And like I said, it doesn't have to be these books. Um, so I'm leaving it open to whatever books were on your wish list that you are interested in. I want to thank all of you for supporting my channel and continuing to watch me um, with all of my videos. I have had a ton of new subscribers, I think almost 100 new subscribers to welcome to this family. So I just want to say thank you so much for subscribing and for joining me. And I will see y'all next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.